I've just participated in a meeting of the European Council and I welcome the positive steps that are being taken to make Europe stronger. Uh, Europe needs to be strong for its own sake, for the sake of our values and for the sake of our vital transatlantic bond. Over the past years, the security challenges have increased, but our defence budgets have certainly decreased. Actually, since 2008, some European countries have cut their defence budgets by up to 40% in real terms. I'm committed to a Europe that is economically strong, politically strong and militarily strong. But I'm concerned that if Europe is unwilling or unable to play its full part in international crisis management, others will fill the vacuum. For Europe to play its full part, we must develop real capabilities and those capabilities that our nations really need. Observation drones, air-to-air -air refueling, heavy transport. And we need a strong European defence industrial base. I welcome the increasing focus by European nations on developing these capabilities. And let me stress, it is not NATO or the European Union that possess these assets. They are owned by the individual nations. They benefit the nations that have them and they allow those nations to make a stronger contribution to addressing crises in any framework they choose, be it the European Union or NATO or any other way. We must also get the most out of the resources we have so that we provide our taxpayers with better security and more value for money. This requires greater cooperation, coordination and cohesion within Europe, across the Atlantic and between the European Union and NATO. We need a Europe that is both willing and able to take more responsibility for its own security and that of the world in which we live. Alongside today's efforts by the European Council, our NATO summit next September will be another vital opportunity to shape that strong Europe.